One thing you learn in filming is you're only as good as your weakest link. And currently, the weakest link at this location is audio. Downward senses here counteract footsteps. Or so one would think. Uh, now let's just get these lines clean from yep. you. Yep. So when our sound guy didn't pass his COVID test, come forward a little bit. There you go. We had to improvise. Ronin 4D. A okay, you, can, you, can, you can hold it down here. Okay. Go for it. Ronin 4D, a 6K full frame camera, 14 stops of dynamic range, and the world's first full access gimbal. Do try to return it to one piece, my card now. All right, rolling, rolling, ready. Not looking good, DJ. I think by now it's pretty well established that I'm a huge Batman and Chris Nolan fan. When we booked this place, I honestly thought it was the same location used in The Dark Knight. But as it turns out, the owner was more of a fan than I was. It looks similar, but she was the knockoff. This is probably the most self-indulgent thing I've ever done. I mean, who wouldn't want to look like some Bruce Wayne, Tony Stark, Agent Denim Crusader? So DJI gave me a decent budget to make a promo video for the Ronin 4D. And I can honestly say that when I first got my hands on the camera, I didn't know what to do. I mean, it's complicated and there's a ton of moving parts. A lot of it almost doesn't make sense, especially from a single person running a gun shooter like myself. My first reaction was, it's not meant for a solo shooter. All right, so we're now loading up the camera into the desk. Here we go. Oh, look at that, dude. There we go. I've always found it helpful on big shoot days to just start knocking off shots as soon as you can to build that momentum. We decided to do the setup shots first before talent arrived. I want the, I want the first initial. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Somebody hold it like this. So the desk was my favorite part about this shoot. I liked the secret compartment self-revealing aspect, and I figured the Ronin 4D was such an interesting looking camera that it'd be a perfect fit for this idea. The desk was made from a junked $50 steel tanker desk and some linear actuators.
Did you make that? Uh, yeah, these are the Make Art Now shirts. These are my first merch, but this is wearable like merch, you know what I mean? I want a nice denim shirt, but that maybe would help you in some way. And so this is just, it solves a problem of like having a wire up and tape a mic. So the only thing is this is the shirt that I've been wearing and I've like totally abused this by now. So I don't have a camera ready one. So this is the prototype. We have a, a batch being made right now. If you want to switch it to something, but it can't be full. One of the hardest lessons I learned on this shoot is the value of a light meter. Not just one for exposure, but one that can check quality and color rendering index of the lights being used. Now any cinematographer worth their salt will agree just because the lights look cool doesn't mean they're any good on skin tones. So if problem number one is the crazy echo, then problem number two is the difference between the two lights. When the whole room is on, it feels a little too bright, a little too clinical. We can turn a couple of the lights off and just illuminate the center section, but those lights come in at a different color temperature entirely and a different CRI, one that's not good on skin tones. Here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. No, you're the man. This, is, this guy is the man, he booked it. First try. Hey, how? Hey, I'm a fan. How? I'm a fan. How? Let me give you guys a little bit of advice on casting. When the right actor comes around, you know instantly. And the funny thing is, is that when I was originally casting this role, the idea I had in mind was more of like a kind of a John Cleese, dry humored, you know, James Bond and Q role. Then why don't you establish a record by actually returning this one? Your new transportation. And uh, so I initially thought like an older English guy with a mustache. Nah, would wreck this way, double O. You know, I like I picked out like five or six guys. And uh, will this be a solo mission? Will this be a solo mission? I would be glad to shave my beard if you prefer my mustache. <laughs> I told this guy no props. I gave him instructions like a week ago, no props. And <laughs> he brings out a magnifying glass. You can see, oh, crafted with carbon fiber and aluminum magnesium. You know, really, I just need someone to not act. You know what I mean? I needed just someone to be believable in the job. And I think the issue I had with pretty much all everyone else that applied was that they were acting instead John Jordan was just, he was saying the lines. He looked like a guy that, like I believed him in the role. Would this be a solo mission? Probably. You may want to reconsider. Follow me. LiDAR waveform focus assists with 43,000 ranging points. A completely unique design. Nailed it. Nailed it. Make art now. <laughs> or don't. Or don't. Or maybe. And I think the, uh, the tap on's gonna be real fast, just like real fast, matter of fact. You know what I mean? Would this be a solo mission? Uh, probably. You might want to reconsider. Is that for me? No, we saw what you did with your last car. This is for you. So the whole directing while acting thing is still kind of new to me. I definitely have some reservations about it. It's one of those Hollywood cliches like, oh, you're trying to get a script made. Oh, you're the writer and oh, you star in it as well. I think the truth is, as long as the story's good and the acting's good, who cares? Like if you guys don't care, why should I care, right? In many senses, it's like I'm choosing to tell the story with my whole body. And even though I may look comfortable, it's weird. It feels weird. Do you want to get a little closer? Because this is a close-up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right? We're looking at eye lines and stuff like that. 
But you probably want to be slightly dirty or something. I'm going to be looking yeah, this way. Give you a dirty over the shoulder. Ollie, can you show me the monitor, please? In fact, let me walk along with it. All right, let's go for it. Please? So I think he, yeah, he need, you need to have him dirt. That looks good. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I think take one step back. Uh, From where it was? Like, so he'll, he's closer to me? Yeah, yeah. You guys good? Everyone good? How's that? And this is real tight. Look at his screen. You can get right in there. Okay. Yeah, okay, great. Probably. You might want to reconsider. Is that for me? We saw what you did with your last... Josh, no. All right, cool. Yeah, the, the car thing, I've just been throwing something at you, but you're supposed to, I think you're, you got a lot, you're running a lot of things all at once, but I think there's something in there where you want that car. Uh, you may want to reconsider. Yeah, it was because in my mind, it, we, were, we were cutting to a, to a type for that, but I'll, I'll oh, do it. Oh, you're doing a million. Uh, Chewing bubble gum and walking. Yeah, exactly. Let's do it one more time. Yep. Now I'll just get Ramon. Oh, nothing on the shoulder? Yeah, uh, you can be a little dirty, that's fine. Now let's reset the lighting and go for it. You might want to reconsider. Hold on, Ramon, relax your forehead. Just basically make eye contact with me. Here, give me a practice one. Yeah. Just look right at me. Yeah, perfect, because you're looking at camera. All right, ready? And reset, action. You might want to reconsider. <laughs> All right, Ramon, one more time, a little less angry. <laughs> and Ramon, really pay attention to what you're doing there, and then it's more like just be into it and then just glance up. Yeah. And rolling, and action. You might want to reconsider. Josh, don't dawdle. Will this be a solo mission? Probably. You might want to reconsider. Is that for me? No, we saw what you did with your last car, Josh. This is for you. So whenever DJI has me do one of these commercials, I always, always, always end up breaking the equipment. Yeah. It's just like, I, like that's kind of why they fund me, because I pushed it to the limits. You, you, you want to test it? You want to test it? Yeah, you, you know I'm going to test it. You want to test it. That's something that would be a note. Alright, cool. Range? I think it's 20 feet. 20 right. feet, I fucking hope not. It's okay. Ready? One more time. <laughs> one more time. We got it. We got it. This is the one. This is the oh, one. Oh, man. Range? I think it's 20,000 feet. That's nearly six kilometers. You want to test it. Lens and mount? Come stop with DL, but we thought you'd like something with a little more character. Though not entirely indestructible. Please try to make it back in one piece, make out now. Range? I think it's 20,000 feet. That's nearly six kilometers. You want to test that? Lens amount? The funny thing is, is that I didn't have this whole story scripted out when we shot at this location. This was basically the intro. I knew that I wanted him to introduce the camera to me, but I didn't have the whole story arc, and I really didn't even have the message until much later, weeks later. This camera is meant for small teams. That the way to showcase this camera in its glory would be to craft a team building video. Kind of like the sequence in a heist movie. You know, when all the main characters meet each other. We rented this car on Turo for a thousand dollars a day. Maybe even a little bit more. It was very expensive. It was one of the more expensive items on the list just because we didn't really have it for that long. But we got the shots and we made it work. 
Definitely a fun ride. How spare did you want to get? I'll start an expense report. How close can we get it to where it's in front of the car then? Oh yeah, super close. All right, let's just do I mean, that. Can, yeah, wait, one there, yeah. Yeah. So we've been stalled out for like five minutes. We're trying to find the, the latch, the hood. They can't even figure out how to open the hood because most Aston Martin car owners don't pop the hood themselves. It's done by a mechanic. So there are a few different car mounting options these days, but we decided to go with the Tilt to Hydra Alien. This combination was amazing. We were able to get up to like, you know, 70, 80 miles an hour on the freeway with very little to no vibration on the DL lenses. Getting rolling permits, that's the tricky part. Probably the only time in my life I'm gonna drive an Aston Martin, so I'm gonna savor it. <laughs> Now, Tilted was gracious enough to send us a representative to make sure that we installed it correctly. And we were first a little apprehensive about, you know, suction cup mounting, especially when it's like a 15 pound payload, but it popped on really quick and the stabilizer smoothed out all the bumps. And it was a, it was a real treat operating both systems. They really do make a great combination together. I'll do a more detailed review of this combination in the next few weeks. Multiple vehicles blocking 710 South of Downey. Blocking four lanes. Requesting additional units. All right, guys, BTS over announcement time. I could use your help. I'm looking for a colorist or a few colorists. I didn't use a light meter to check the quality of the LEDs. While that place was beautiful, the LEDs when it was lit up on one section were, were probably a CRI 80 or 85 or 90. The other section when it was just lit up above us were like definitely a CRI 79 or something. And there was a very harsh purple shift that made all of the footage look bad, not just the X9, but also the BTS camera, the Canon camera, the Sony camera, all of the cameras looked awful under this lighting. I should have brought extra lights and I should have used this spot meter to, to see what was going on there. I just thought it was a color temperature shift. So skin tones, I'm not happy with the skin tones. Now I have spent enough time trying to get it to look good. I think it's time I turn it on you guys. So if you're an exceptional colorist, you work with skin tones, you can save footage. I'm looking for you. Take a look in my website. I have the raw files right there. Send me the correction. I'll pick four people and then I'd love to see your workflow, like a quick little one to two minute workflow. I'll make a video on it next week and the winner is going to get one of these drones. I'll either give away my Air 2S or my Mavic Pro 2, both of them are in working condition. The Air 2S is pretty much brand new. And you'll also get my respect. And if you are one of those color grading channels or whatever, I'd love to give you, you know, some more of my people. I'm sure a lot of people would love to see your workflow anyway. This was a huge learning lesson for me. I, I learned a lot doing this. I had a lot of fun, but I also fell short in this regard. So I'm looking to add a colorist now on my team. So maybe that could be you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you next week. Make out now. Make out now. <laughs> did I say? Did I say make out now? I didn't. Did I really?